Oh, I forgot to do it. Drop the book again. No, please. They deserve better, but I understand their placement. They deserve yeah. so much better, but anyway. If only they could sing live. <sighs> well, one of Taya them could. Taya, Taya could. could. Yeah. Taya could. Taya could. Taya Taya she could. <laughs> She's made it very well known on Twitter. <laughs> Oh, oh, yeah. Who knew that the drama and the controversy post Eurovision 2023 would, from all people, come from Mia and Dion and Taya and Selena? Who would have thought? <laughs> anyway, who would have thought? thought? Anyway, hello, 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 Europe, Australia, and the world, and welcome to the Cup ESC, the currently unnamed podcast where we put the real and the T into ESC from top to bottom, honey. I'm Logan Murphy, Jason is gay. Gay. Um, I am finishing off. Um, not sponsored, but I'm really enjoying this new energy drink brand. It's Ardor Energy. Um, they're it's basically just seltzer, but and but like caffeinated, and I'm in love. Is it a particular um, flavor? Uh, yes. So the one I tried the other day was vanilla blackberry. Not a huge fan. However, this is cucumber mint, and this is beautiful. And if it's on sale at Whole Foods again when I go, probably later today, um, I will be buying like four cans because it's incredible. <laughs> we still don't have those in Canada, so I, I wouldn't know. I'm so sorry. Never heard of them here. Oh, well, it's the closest grocery store to me, so you know it's fine. Um, and uh, in the words of former Austrian Eurovision representative, Amen. Amen. <laughs> I don't know why I'm on such a 2020 kick the last few days. I'm like, all I'm referencing it's is 2021. We'll go off. Oh, wait. Darling. You know, Rotter- Darling. The, the Rotterdam situation of it all. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. And hi, I'm Anissa Long, also known as Sam DMV, also known as Sam De Monteverde. Uh, you're a Filipino Canadian from Toronto, Eurovision loving K popper from. Uh, yeah, hi. Um, And in my lovely cup mug. Because we, we do sell those. Um, yes. You can get your very own at lanagcreations.etsy.com. We have a link in the description below. And we do ship internationally and domestically, so there are no excuses. Austria, today we are looking at you. Um, I have I just have water, because hydration's of the essence. Nice. I realized in the mix of all of our reactions yesterday, at some point you didn't say what was in your cup. You just said you had it. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Just look at I was looking back at the footage and I was like, <laughs> you're like, in my lovely cup mug, does the whole spiel. And then it's like, and in the words, <laughs> I, I was dying laughing for like five minutes. I'm not even going to lie to you. <laughs> Just an empty mug. Pretty much. It's really a blur to me. I swear to God. It's fine. Like, anyways, um, in the words of... um former Austrian Eurovision representative, who I think deserve much better. I really enjoyed this song, but hey now, when you knock me down, I'll get up again. Hey now, if you let me down, I'll swim like a champion. I think it deserved better. I stand by the fact that I love this song. Work. Oh, and it- who the hell is Eduardo? Who the hell is Eduardo? In the words of an Austrian representative, who the hell is Eduardo? Hi, I'm Eduardo. I'm new here. I don't know what I'm doing here, but you know what? I got invited and I'm here. I have a little cup with full of coffee because I didn't sleep yesterday. So yeah, I'm here. I'm the Mexican fan of Eurovision, the only one I think that exists. Pleasure to meet you. Nice to be here. Super excited to be here. I don't Love know what it. Else to say. Love it. <laughs> Wonderful. We're working through audio issues, everyone. So be kind to Eduardo. Yeah, I'm sorry. Third world country. To Eduardo. Leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Anyway, we are here. We are talking all things Colleen. It is time to talk Austria. We are talking about We Will Rave, which uh, is very, very highly anticipated. Everyone has been looking forward 
to this song. Everyone is looking forward to what she is doing at Eurovision this year. Thankfully, she's finally got her shot. Um, if you want to know more about Colleen herself, go check out our TikTok because I made a TikTok all about her. So I'm, I'm uh -huh. like doing those things now, kind of, sort of. Um, but she is competing in the first half of semifinal one or semifinal two, which is gearing up to be a bunch of upbeat songs and also sand. Oh, I can feel you slipping through my hands, baby. Ah, uh, we love Sada. I'm gonna save more of my thoughts for when we do our full song discussions later on um, in the month. But I love, I love her. So, uh, but we were talking about Colleen today. We will rave is the song, and I guess you know. I guess we're gonna rave. That is why we that is what we were told it was gonna be a relatively upbeat song. And uh, this yeah. is yeah, and this is also uh co written by Jimmy Joker Thornfelt, who also had a hand in both Euphoria and Tattoo for Lorene. So this should be good. It should be good. It should be good. But I've also seen that this writer has also written some stinkers before. I've seen that too. So it's a hit or miss. It's a hit or miss, but hopefully it's a hit because there's so much excitement behind this. Like yeah. Twitter has been flooded yep. with like excitement about this. So hopefully it holds up. Agreed. Agreed. But without further ado, we should just talk about the song. I think we should. I think we should too. Let's get into it. Sure. So because there's no um, official music video yet for We Will Rave, we know it's coming because, good lord, the woman has been teasing the damn video for <laughs> months. months now. Months. Um, but it's still not out, apparently. So thanks, Colleen. Um, but we're gonna, we have this beautiful, cute little lyric video. Oh, um, yes. And I would love to give credit to the maker. To to the to those that released this video, uh, Sheila Eurovision, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, um, huge shout out to you, um, and I guess without further ado, let's just get into it. <laughs> Cause I can't be your friend I'm cold, but this is not the end So I go, go, go Where the broken heart it go No one knows a thing but I'm a haunted So I go, oh, oh Wanna dance it up for more I won't let it show, they will never know When the darkness hits hell We can't be safe We run, be dumb, dumb, dumb We will rave When our hearts are bleeding And we feel no pain We run, be dumb, dumb, dumb We will rave this is gonna be the first song that I can already tell you that.
Okay, I'm gonna say this, and I mean this in the most respectful way possible. It took four people to write this song. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna be really honest, I'm a little underwhelmed. I think, for me specifically, I had seen a lot of hype around it, yeah. and I myself was like, okay, it's gonna be trash, because everyone's loving it so hard, that Twitter kind of loves trash. And like yes. songs that I don't like. Sure. But maybe that because when I heard it now, I liked it a lot more than I think I thought that I would. So I really like it. I really like it. Okay. So for those of, of you that are new to watching our channel, um I, I have a I have a fair history of EDM songs being like hit or miss. Techno pop is kind of a very 50-50. It's it's very much so a flip of the coin. Yeah. I feel in my in my so I I will be going. If this it, is this in the second? This is first is half of the second semifinal. Yeah. So I will be seeing this live. I'm um, sure will. Oh wonderful. So maybe that'll maybe it'll be better live. Even then, I I am slightly concerned for the vocals because that is a very delicate voice with a lot of production on it. I, think I, there was a little. I don't know. I, this this for me just falls into, and we heard a lot of this during the national selection season. Yes. And I think this is better than most of the other techno pop songs we heard in the national selection season. Yes. Oh, song. absolutely. But. This for me falls into the trap of songs that I really don't like, where there is negative zero substance to this, really. And I, I just think it, and for a rave song, I think it's fantastic. I think it's got a great beat. It's got a solid, you know, melody progression. The lyrics are easy enough to remember and understand, and I get all of that. And as a rave song, if I went to a rave and heard this, I would be screaming. Like, I think that's incredible. But this is Eurovision. I find for Eurovision, I think this is going to safely qualify. I'm going to be honest. I do think it's going to qualify. I don't know that it will end up being one of my qualifiers, only because I find it a tad too simple and I find that the lyrics don't have a whole lot of substance. And it hits it's one note. It's a very good one note, but it's one note the whole time. And yeah. I was hoping at the end that that little bit of a dip would be kind of a lower moment, a softer moment, leading into something much bigger than the final chorus was. Mm -hmm. I think there is flexibility for some fun vocal moments for her at the end. But unfortunately, the studio cut is not really impressing me the way that I hoped it would. Right. I'm hoping the live performance would just give it a lot of life to it. I think this being performed live could really bring some soul into it in some way. Something that it's missing. Because it's clearly like, it's. I really like it. It's really good for me. But it's clear that it's like still missing something, right? There's like some substance that it, there's not quite this bite that some other songs have. And so there's clearly something that needs to be added. And that might just be like the way that it's performed or the way that it's just staged. That or might just Halo. help it out a lot. Or, yeah. Or, or, Halo. Get, like, or Halo. We, or maybe we could get like the campiest like staging. You know, yeah. I need I need the staging to be a rave. That's what totally. I need this to be. Yeah, I think I if she feel sell, like I'm in the rave, I think if she can sell the experience, she'll be fine. Absolutely. I, I if 
I hope they don't go serious with this staging. And knowing Austria over the last couple of years, they really don't. So, except weirdly with Taya and Selena. Like, I thought that staging was very, very serious for no reason when it really shouldn't have been. I couldn't tell if that staging actually was serious. I don't know. It just, it felt simple and weird, down, which I feel like for that kind of thing, I would have loved, like, someone popping out in a fucking Edgar Allan Poe head mask thing. Like, that's what I was expecting with that. This, I'm like, I'm hopeful that we get, like, as we get five ravers, because that's all you can really have on the stage is six yeah. people. So I'm like, five ravers selling the shit out of this. I want her, like, honestly, I kind of want her, like, Coachella style, just, like, standing on a stage on the stage. Mm. Like, build a whole setup. I want her, like, on a stage, like, ma- like um, elevated off the main stage. Oh, maybe like a like like a May Muller kind of moment, like a little bit, kind of May Muller, kind of. Um, this is purely the staging; has nothing to do with the song. Kind of like Embers. Sure, Where, like okay. you've got, like the big instrument. I wouldn't mind a big trumpet here. I'm gonna be honest. I don't know, think that a big trumpet would fit here. Actually, I don't. Yeah, think I, was say, I don't think there's trumpet in this. There's thing. no there's trumpet in this. Really there might be weird. something else. I don't know. I want big instruments. I want. I want. I want a big staging. That's what I. That's what I think is going to be the most important thing here. And if she can pull, if she can pull off the experience of this, she'll be fine. I could see this qualifying. I don't know how well it'll do in the final, though. I don't and it also wouldn't surprise me if this didn't qualify. I there's music in the background. Excuse You're me. You're fine. Uh, I was gonna say, I think this will do really well with the televote. Yes. Yes. I think the televoters will love this. The jury is not gonna give it any any sort of like credit. Nothing. Yeah. Nothing. Yeah. This is obviously not a jury song, and I think we're saying that a lot this year because the qualification for the final has now become purely yeah. uh, public. Yeah. So I think that's why this year we're getting so many upbeat songs because the, the the public tends to like those kind of songs. So I think this song will do great with the televote, but I see I don't see like a lot of hope for it when it comes to like winning situations. I could easily see this top 10 in the televote and like 26th with the jury in the final. Fully. Fully. Like, I think that, and where would that land her? Like, that could land her, I don't know. Well, it could be a situation like Croatia last year. I was going to say, yeah. Where the public loved it, and, like, the jury just didn't give any, like, love to it. Yeah, and they shouldn't it have, up... because it was an absolute disgrace of a song. Fully. But thank you. I'm we, glad we can we can get to can those stay. kinds of songs. We can later. stick around now. You're good. We got <laughs> we got past the let three question, so we're good. <laughs> yeah, it's like I think those kinds of songs deserve a spot in Eurovision, but like I cannot give it that much credit. Like the fact that it came 11 was a crime. But, a crime. Yeah, a full on crime. And we then Germany was bottom five. Excuse me. Anyways, let's not get into it. <laughs> I will not. Blood and we've got, was we've got other anyways. opportunities for that, yes. and I, I, I think we need to. Yeah. Oh my God. But yeah. So yeah. Any, <laughs> any other final thoughts? I mean, uh, I, I, I think we will rave. Uh, you know, we might rave. It the, seems probable that we will. We rave. could rave. We could. We might rave. We should rave. We ought to rave. We perhaps will rave. We, we could eventually rave. could rave. We will Somehow. eventually rave. Rave? We will potentially rave. <laughs> okay, I'm ending this. <laughs> 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 Any other thoughts? It's it's okay. <laughs> I think I like I, it more than right now. I already have it bottom five in my ranking, and I'm sorry. It's like, in my I, top ten. I don't. I'm not surprised by that. <laughs> it gives me just a happy feeling. That's all. 
Um, That's fair. I'm, I'm, I'm happy about that for you. <laughs> I love this journey for you, my dear. I'm happy for you. I'm so I'm happy, happy for, for this you. for you. Anyway, <laughs> let us know down in the comments below what do you think of We Will Rave, We Might Rave, potentially, maybe in the future, who knows. We'll be raving on May 9th, at the very least. Yes. The day before my birth. Um, thank God it's not, you know, on my birthday this year, so I can actually go out and celebrate my birthday and then be hungover as <laughs> for the final. That's my plan. <laughs> Absolutely. But then I'm just going to wake up and start drinking again, so it's fine. Anyway, let us know down in the comments below what do you think of Austria this year? <laughs> Uh, thank you so much for joining. Um, make sure to subscribe if you have not already, because we're here all your vision season, giving you almost all things your vision song contest. We have one more song reaction to cover for this week, thankfully. Um, we're gonna do that right after this. I don't know what order you're going to be seeing these videos in. I'm gonna be honest with you. I really don't know what order. So uh, <laughs> make sure to subscribe so you know when we get all of our content. Plus, we'll be doing full. Uh, song reviews here in probably like three weeks ish. Full we'll coverage. All that we'll stuff. Full coverage. Full, full coverage. Foundation. Full coverage. Um, go hit the like button. Do all those things. Um, you could also go follow our socials down below at the Cup Pod on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. Um, if you want to become a member of our channel and join the Tea Room, go hit up our main channel, the Cup Pod. Or you can go to Patreon, same content, different platform. We should have some Eurovision stuff coming over there um, in the period between now and the grand final. And probably after the grand final and probably in the middle of the year when we're missing Eurovision. You know, it happens. Oh, and also, uh, since since I am coming uh, to... To um, Copenhagen, Copenhagen actually. Yeah, <laughs> well, I will be. I will be one of the many that will be staying in Copenhagen rather than staying in Malmo. Um, <laughs> feel free to feel free to hit me up or hit Lewis up as well because we will yeah. both be there. Uh, for the second semi preview as well as the grand final family show. Um, very exciting. Yes, very excited. Hey, at least I'm not the only one that's not going this year. Thanks, Eduardo. Well, I'm literally in Mexico. Like, I can't afford it. I'm, and like, close-ish to you, so I get it. <laughs> You're so gonna far away. In. <laughs> Truly so far away. Um, but, yes, go follow all of our socials. Do those things. You can also go get your merch down below. And uh, with all that being said, cheers. 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 Oh, oh. Pop, 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 pop,